Okay, well this is the BMW E39 we're going to be working on today. It's a 525 2002 5 Series. Um, as you'll see in a moment, we do have the dashboard warning lights showing on the, the dashboard of the vehicle. Um, so we'll go in there, take a look, and we'll get it diagnosed and get it fixed. Okay, so right now we're sitting in the vehicle, um, the 5 Series uh, 525M Sport E39 2002 model. Um, what I'm going to do is just switch on the engine. Um, initially, initially you will see a lot of um, dashboard warning lights come on, but they will generally all go away. Um, you will see the lights which relate to the ABS sensor. Um, they will stay on. And that basically indicates that there is a problem within the ABS system. So here we go. So as you can see, we have the ASC or DSC warning light here. That's the traction warning light. We have the, well this is the parking light in any case. This is the exclamation or the brake warning light. Um, brake warning light, if this came on alone, it would basically mean that um, there's a problem with the ABS system or you need to top up your brake uh, fluid and obviously this is the brake warning light itself um, so that's a sure indication that there is a fault within the ABS system um, what we need to do now is use a diagnostic code reader which covers the ABS system for the BMW E39 to actually diagnose the fault and find out exactly where the problem is occurring um, remember this vehicle has four ABS sensors so it could be either corner um, now although they're not that expensive to replace they're only about 20 pounds each um, you don't want to waste your time changing the wrong ABS sensor uh, so you want to make sure you get it right first time because sometimes they can be um, a little bit of a, a pain in the a pain in the backside to actually get out um, so yeah we'll, uh, we'll hook it up to a code reader and we'll uh, we'll see see where we are from then. Okay, so the tool we're going to use to diagnose the ABS uh, fault is the Autel MD702, or you can also use the MD802. Um, but the tool we are actually using here is the MD802, but it has the same functions as the 702. So we're just going to go in and do a scan here. So on the 702, you'll only get the European option. So we're looking at BMW, and we have a 5 Series, it's an E39, it's communicating with the vehicle. Right, so it's asking us to choose the model. So we have, let's make sure all the options are there. So we have a 525 automatic saloon, so it's going to be this one here, 25. So we'll locate to that, so it's European right hand drive. Okay, to that. So we'll click on the control units, go to the chassis, and the ABS is shown here as ASC. Or well, there is also the DSC anti lock braking system. This vehicle actually has the DSC, so we'll, we'll do a search on this one rather than that one. Right, so what we have here is 1E DSC wheel speed sensor rear left transmits no signal. So it's the left as we are sitting in the vehicle, not looking at the vehicle. Um, and it's the left hand side. So on this vehicle, it's the passenger side. Um, so basically, it needs a, a rear 
left um, ABS sensor to be changed so we'll remove the sensor that's currently in there and then what we'll do is once the new sensor is plugged in all we really need to do is actually um, start driving the vehicle again and these dash lights should just disappear um, but the first thing to do is uh, change the ABS sensor over which we'll do now okay so we'll have the wheel off and this is the ABS sensor you can see the cable there Now what you're probably going to want to do and need to do is remove this um, nut here, it's a 10mm and it just gives you a bit more access to in behind the ABS sensor, the ABS sensor just sits in behind this bit here, um, so as you can see we've, we've half pulled it out there anyway. Okay so we're back in the vehicle now after having changed the ABS sensor. Uh, what we're going to do now is just turn on the engine. Now what you'll probably find is that the dashboard lights for the ABS will stay on initially but once the, the vehicle starts rolling a little, uh, sometimes it can take up to 30 seconds or so, uh, the lights will go out uh, one by one. Um, but I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So we're just starting the engine there. Well in fact, on this particular occasion, uh, the lights have gone out straight away. Um, we're in a bit of a tight spot here, so that explains why I'm vigorously moving the steering wheel. But we will take it for just a little, a little drive, just to show that the lights have gone off and will stay off. Well, we are driving as you can see. Now what you can do at this stage is plug your code reader back in um, because the fault codes that were there initially they will still be there and they do actually need clearing from the system well you don't need to clear them but if you want to make if you want to sort of give your vehicle a clear bill of health it makes sense to go in there and actually uh, just clear the, the fault codes There we go, so here's a little bit of information about where you can actually buy the ABS sensors from that we used and also um, the code reader itself where you can actually get that from that we used to diagnose the, uh, the ABS system. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. Okay, so this is the website where you need to go to get your ABS sensors for your BMW. Um, Dominator Auto Diagnostics. The web address is www.bavariandominator.co.uk uh, so if we scroll down here to the left hand side we have ABS sensors just me to select BMW then we need to select uh, the model which is a 5 series E39 and then here are the ABS sensors uh, that image isn't showing for some reason um, but Basically, these are the three ABS sensors that will probably need to be replaced. Um, quite good, these guys, you can actually just uh, contact them, send them a quick email if you're not exactly sure which uh, ABS sensor you need, and they'll put you straight pretty quickly. So, yeah, that's where you need to pick out the ABS sensor for your BMW. Okay, so this is the website where you can pick up the diagnostic tool that we used. Um, diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com um, On the left hand side here, if you click on to Professional Kits and the kits will show up here. Now, uh, the Autel MD802 will do the job. 
that's a little bit more expensive because it covers a lot more modules and a lot more vehicles uh, but if you're looking at BMW specifically you can use this one which is the Autel MD702 and it's uh, slightly less cost wise so there it is that's the uh, the Autel MD702 and it's from Diagnostic World www.diagnostic-world.com